Today on this Revit tutorial, we're going to talk about circuiting for devices and some of the annotations that you can use. So first off, we're going to go ahead and uh, on circuit, basically create a new circuit for some of these devices. So already most of these devices are circuited. This one here, so if we go back and look at the electrical circuit, we can see all these annotations, right? I circuited like way more than you should ever put on a circuit, on a circuit, but again, that was for an example. But if you go to edit circuit, you can see the ones that are bolded here are all circuited together. Again, I know way more than you would ever do, but uh, here is the example. So this one is not circuited. What we can do, we go to power and then you can edit circuit. So let's just say we wanna add these few. And again, it's gonna like ding at you, right? That telling you that they were part of another circuit, but that is uh, no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, select a panel here and we'll just select something that is close. RP2, we'll just go ahead and select that. So what we can do here and this is again like a, a preference, but when it comes to annotating a drawing, it's way, 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 way easier to go ahead and use the tag all function. So basically you lay all your outlets out, you do all your circuiting and you really don't have to, but to go ahead and just say electrical fixture. And uh, we want to just go ahead and put in circuit tag. So we're gonna apply this to everything and it'll do it for everything in the drawing. So we'll go ahead and hit apply. And as you can see here, here's the annotations, right? Two, four, whatever. Uh, and this is really just gonna be the circuit number uh, for each of these. So this one's probably here, four to here, two, four. So again, these are like all over the place um, for tags. But one of the things that we can do is you go in here and we can edit the family. So one of the things within tags that uh, is beautiful is they are editable. And right now you just have the circuit number. So if you're doing like a simple thing or there's only like one panel, that's not a problem. But typically we've got multiple panels within a facility. So we can just do uh, a panel and then you can do like a suffix. So typically it's gonna be a dash between, so to be panel, you know, name, dash circuit number and um, you can do that it's just a simple little thing so it'll do panel dash um, and for this so we want to edit that label to make sure that um, for the suffix that there's a space before and a space after there we go maybe we've got too many spaces in there now but uh, go ahead and just do one all right that looks better so we'll go ahead and load this into the project and close it uh, don't need to save it, overwrite. So now you can see uh, where these, you know, tags are and uh, that helps a little bit. So that's one of the things in tagging and circuiting is you can edit these um, devices. Like if you wanted to say RP2 dash circuit four, so we can go back in. If we want to say uh, RP2 dash um, circuit so if you wanted ckt in front of everything dot space so you can load this in and close now and then it's because of how it overlapped in there it'll do the same thing here so if you want this to effectively be all on one line you can do this and again make that smaller load and close no overwrite and then it'll adjust it. So again, very, very editable, very uh, changeable on what you want. Next, let's say we're just gonna remove these <laughs> right now. So EH element hide. Um, but one of the things that you might wanna do is do uh, wires and you can put arc wires or chamfered wires to it. And then what you might do, um, again, this is like an old school thing, but then you can come in here tag it with the tag that we had created, right? So that's the panel tag, but if we just did the circuit tag or the tag that we created, right? You could do it like this and you've got your leader on it as well. So th how these uh, tick marks get created is, and we'll delete all this. So how your wires get created is you hover over and then you hit tab 
and then you'll see these up here. You can click, click once, and then you can either click ArcWire here, or um, if we do it again, you can click chamfered wire and then it'll, you know, do right angles <laughs> basically to everything and with the tick marks and all that good stuff. So uh, two ways to create your wires in Revit. And then you can, uh, well, I'll leave the whole circuit, but um, you can go ahead and, you know, add or remove wires as you choose through the model. So again, hover, tab, click, and then uh, choose, you know, whichever you would want. So really simple way to annotate your drawings and then you can use tag all and then the easy way to go through and edit your circuit labels. So that's this walkthrough of circuiting and tagging uh, for electrical devices. And this will work for any electrical device um, that you have, not just receptacles.